I'm Kylie Greger. Welcome to Bulldog Profiles. This series focuses on new staff members at RB for the 2015-16 school year. Joining me on this edition is Mr. Mark Ori. Welcome to the program. Thanks for joining us. First of all, why don't you tell our viewers at home what department you're in here at RB and what you do at RB. I'm in the special education department and I co-teach three classes right now with Ms. Harsey and then I have two study skill courses that I teach on my own. Okay, and talk to us a little bit about what you were doing before you came to Riverside Brookfield. Uh, so I was at Maine South for about three years. I worked as an aide, um, which actually is my alma mater, and uh, I was in the life skills program, uh, mostly students with autism, some with Down syndrome. Um, and just assisted students one-to-one. -one. Sometimes I was in the classroom, sometimes we were just in our um, life skills room or in the community, um, just getting involved there. I also coach two sports there, um, football and baseball, and uh, currently I'll be coaching baseball here at RB. Great, and tell us a little bit about your background before teaching. Tell us a little bit about school. I heard a couple rumors that maybe you did something a little interesting when you were in college and after. Give us a little picture of that. So I went to Northwestern, played baseball there for three years. I got drafted by the Houston Astros and then played about six and a half years within their organization. Made it up to double A. So had a pretty good run. Great uh, relationships I built with the guys I played with, the coaches I played for. Um, got to see a lot of, a lot of this country and uh, just you know, a lot of great experiences, uh, taught me a lot about myself and, and, and actually transitioned into where I'm at now. One of the guys I played with my last years um, told me about the scholarship and I applied for it, which is what then I used to get my uh, master's in education. Um, I had taught in my, um, or substitute taught in my off seasons, because I had to make some some money to supplement for the <laughs> right. low pay you get in the minor leagues. Mm -hmm. um, found interest in just being around the students and being in the environment, um, in that school environment. So I used that to, uh, to work toward my master's degree in special education. Okay, awesome. And when you were in that experience in, in the minor leagues, mm -hmm. and, and what were there any inklings at that time that you might eventually like to go into education, or was that something that you sort of stumbled upon just making that extra money? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, I have, my family is in education. My mom's a teacher. Um, I had, had thoughts of maybe what to come after I was done playing, but I always had that focus of, of focusing on, uh, you know, baseball and, and, and fulfilling that dream. But um, when I did start to student, or uh, not student teach, but uh, substitute teach in my off seasons, that brought that interest and, and that just liking of being around the students and, and being in a place that I enjoyed as a student as well. So it was kind of over time that I found that interest and, and that liking for this profession. Awesome. So talk to me about what a typical day like at RB is like for you. What are, what are some of the highlights of your days when you come to RB? Um, just, I mean, just the environment. I, I loved school as a student, so I just like being, you know, the little things, you know, just hearing the stories from the students. Uh, it's always fun to come in on a Monday morning and see how they're dragging. And <laughs> it's a new week and right. just to see how they pick up as the week goes on and that excitement. Um, I'm a big kind of cheesy school spirit kind of guy, so I like that that rah-rah and, and bulldog pride. So Yeah, I see you rocking that bulldog yeah, pride so, t-shirt, Mr. Man, it would um, be proud. Yeah, so I'm and just trying to get involved, try to show my face, try to you know learn a little about the students outside of just the educational side of things, just to get to know them. So um, I, that, you know, improving the students academically and then as people, but also getting, you know, building a relationship with them. So that's, that's the fun part for me. Great. So you said you spent a little bit of time at Maine. Um, what is it that you like most about RB, about being in this environment? Um, I think the size of the school is perfect. Where at Maine, I, it was, it's just too big. Um, here, I feel like I see the kids a lot more, especially the kids I'm teaching. Um, so like I said, in the classroom or what they're doing outside, I get, I get to build that relationship, get to know them a, a, a lot better. Um, but it's a, a close-knitted family, I feel, here. 
teaching staff that, I, that I've got to know already. It's easy to get around, get to know people. So I like those, rela those relationships that are able to be built in a school like, like RB. And what is your impression overall of the student body here at RB? So uh, I mean, great. No, I mean, obviously you're need a couple of goofballs <laughs> here and there, but you know, great, great attitude. Um, I think a close knit family, close with the community. The schools are close with the communities that surround it. So I'm excited. I'm excited to get more involved as the year goes on, as I feel a lot more comfortable with what I'm doing and. Just excited about the future to come. Great. Well, thank you for joining us yeah. here today. Thanks for having it's me. been great getting to know you, and I hope you have a terrific school year. Thank you. Again, I am Kylie Greger, and we will see you next time on Bulldog Profiles.